Although a little bit impractical, LEP flashlights are definitely fun to use. This one, L10 Max, is a compact 21700 cell LEP flashlight with over a kilometer of throw, with convenient USB-C charging and great build quality. Hello YouTube, flashlight enthusiast here. Today, something new on my channel, the next torch L10 Max, which was kindly provided by the manufacturer for review free of charge. Despite that, I will still be honest with you about this model and won't be holding back any drawbacks that I discovered. So with that being said, let's take a look at the next torch L10 Max, which is the, my first LEP flashlight on this channel. So I'm pretty excited to check it out. And I can tell you that my first impressions are really good. Look at the box here. This is definitely a good looking box with all the necessary features about the USB-C charging, stats about the throw, uh, and also the battery used. Here on this side, we also have some important notes about modes, all the key features of the flashlight. Overall, the impressions are really good. The flashlight is presented in a comprehensive and informative way. I really like it. Inside, we can find a bunch of accessories along with the flashlight. So we've got double O-ring replacement in case you need that. High quality wrist, wrist lanyard with Nextorch logo and adjustable length. Looking good. Quite short power bank style USB to USB-C charging cable. Last but not least, user manual in different languages, obviously. I have to admit that the design of L10 is quite attractive. Although I did suspect the flashlight to be slightly smaller, it is still a compact 21700 LEP. The matte finish analyzation is just perfect and it does add up to the premium finish and look of this next torch flashlight. The knurling is thin, it provides a good amount of grip and it's not aggressive towards your fingers. There is this distinctive feel about the switch that is rubber with quite good tactile feedback and it's easy to find in the dark despite the USB-C charging port cover on the opposite side, but the feel is just a little bit different. There are some cooling fins on this one, however, uh, mind you that in my testing it did not hit more than 38 degrees Celsius, so this hot sign might not be justified here. On this end of business we've got something that I see first time in my life and I don't know how to comment it. However, it looks high quality premium and the beam quality is just good enough for me to accept it despite low CRI. There is also a lanyard attachment on the tail cap, however it is done in a fashion that if you attach the lanyard it won't tail stand stably. The threads are a little thin for my taste but they look good and anodized so I wouldn't suspect any problems with that. On the tail cap side we've got nice thick spring, this is not gold plated but serves its function quite well. There is also the spring down there so that the battery is well protected against the shock. L10 features one switch to operate all the four modes in the UI. To turn on the flashlight, hold the switch and then it always turns on in the highest mode. Then one click to go to the medium, one click again to go into the low and one click again to have a strobe mode. One click again to return to the first mode which is high. Hold the switch to turn off the flashlight. And that's basically the UI. Simple yet effective. Courtesy of my friend I also have the another LEP from Skyloman and uh, I have to admit that L10 Max has a much more pleasant beam and unilateral form of this LEP laser beam than the one from Skyloman as you can see right now. Although it is not as throwy as the Skyloman, well definitely the uniform beam pattern is much more important to me than the sheer focused beam. Next Torch L10 also comes with the included 4800 mAh 21700 battery. Because it is standard length, you can easily throw it in your regular Leon battery charger. However, for the convenience purposes, I'm glad that they did incorporate the USB-C charging port inside the flashlight. Unplug the rubber cover and plug in the USB-C charging cable. Wait for the indicator under the switch to turn from red to blue. As you can see right on the screen, this is a 2 amp charging port and you will have to wait around 5 hours to fully charge the battery inside the L10 Max. Here are my lumen measurements of the next torch L10 Max. If you need more time, feel free to pause the video. Now that's something I always enjoy seeing, you know, 
uh, we've got the highest output of the next torch l10 max runtime here around 380 lumen level measured at start so quite close to the claimed 400 within a 10 percent accuracy range so per every everything is perfectly normal we've got one minute and 30 seconds before the flashlight started to step down from around 366 lumens and then we got slow steady step down over the course of three minutes so definitely you won't see it with your naked eye to around 165 lumen level when flashlight body achieving 45 degrees Celsius so definitely a little bit warm but never hot and as you can see the flashlight body did stabilize around 38 degrees Celsius and we've got nice stable performance over the course of four hours with around 125 lumens but mind you this is an LEP so you don't expect it to be very bright but to be quite focused so it definitely does the job very well and I appreciate the flat stabilized output here it does not look worse in the medium mode look at this we've got 96 lumens at startup and as you can see the flashlight was able to sustain around 90 lumens for around five and a half hours with flashlight body stabilizing and around 32 degrees celsius so definitely not even warm this flashlight definitely manages the heat very well and the performance is stable and it is highly appreciated thanks next torch so for comparison with the L10 Max from Nextorch, I also have the LEP uh, from Skylumen and two Noctigon K1, one with Osram W2 white and the other one with Osram 1mm green.
although this is my first encounter with the LEP flashlight in person and during the testing, I'm really satisfied with what L10 Max offers. Maybe it is not the farest throwing LEP flashlight, but 1200 meters specs is still quite impressive for a flashlight this size with relatively small head. And obviously, LEP LEPs are not my favorite types of flashlight because they do not provide any spill and that's why the tunnel vision effect is highly exaggerated in, in this particular models. However, if you're looking for an LEP, I believe that L10 Max from Nextorch is an excellent choice for a high quality, medium range LEP flashlight. So guys, if you're interested in this one, make sure to check out the Nextorch website. Also, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section down below. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next one.